Hello friends, this is one more video tutorial on Laravel 5.8 framework, and here we will discuss, date range filter in data tables with server side processing. We have already discussed, date range filter in Laravel, but in that tutorial we have used simple table, for display data in table format. But here, we have used jQuery data tables plugin, for display data in tabular format, so here we have make this video tutorial. In which we have described, how can we implement, date range filter in data tables with server side processing with Laravel 5.8 framework. Now let's start discussing this topic, this is our testing database, and here we one order table, in which we have already inserted some order data. We will first load this data in data table, and after this we will implement date range filter. This is our Laravel 5.8 framework, working folder. First we want to make database connection. So, we have opened this .env file, and here we have defined, mysql database configuration, like host name set to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root and password set to blank. Now we want to controller, so we have go to command prompt, and here we have write this command. This command will make date range controller file, under controllers folder. Now we have go to controllers folder, and we have open this date range controller file, under this first we have write use statement with database class, this is for database operation. Now we want to download Yadra data tables package in this Laravel application, so we have go to command prompt and write following command. This command will download Yadra data tables package, in our Laravel application, it will take some time for download. After successfully download of Yadra data tables package and install, now we have go to config folder, and open app.php file. In this file, we have to define service provider and alias details, this is required for use of Yadro Laravel data tables package in this application. Now we have go to date range controller, and under this, we have make one index function, with request argument, this is the root method of this controller class. Under this method, we have write return statement, with view method, with date range, this method will load, date range dot blade dot php file, in browser. Now we have go to resources folder slash views folder and open date range dot blade dot php file. In this file, we have already loaded jQuery library, bootstrap library, jQuery data table library and date picker library. Under this file, we have first create one division tag, with class is equal to row, and input date range, this for date picker for select date. Under this, we have write input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to from date, placeholder is equal to from date, 
and lastly we have write read only attribute. Same for select to date, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to date, placeholder is equal to date, and lastly we have write read only attribute. Now, we have write button type is equal to button, name and ID is equal to filter, and in button text we have write button, by click on this button, data table data will be filter. Same for refresh data table data, here we have write, button type is equal to button, name and ID is equal to refresh, and button text we have write refresh. After this, we have create table with attribute ID is equal to order table, with five table column like order ID, customer name, item, value, and date table column. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write dollar, with division tag class input date range, with date picker method, it will initialize date picker library. Under this, we have write first option, today button, set to linked, this for from date must be less than to date validation. After this, we have write format option, set to default date format, and auto close option set to true, that means after selecting date, it will be close. Now we have make load data function, with two argument like from date with blank value, and to date with blank value. Under this function, we have write dollar with table ID order table, with data table method, it will initialize data table plugin. Under this method, first we have write processing option set to true, it will enable table process table data. Below this we have write, server side option which have been set to true, it will enable server-side processing. In third option, we have write Ajax, and under this we have write URL option, which has been set to Laravel expression. And between this expression, we have write root method, and under this we have write date range dot index, it will send Ajax request to index method of date range controller. After this, we want to send from date and to date data also, so here we have write data option, and here we have defined from date and to date data, has been sent with Ajax request. Below this, we have write, columns option, which has been used to define table column details. Under this array, we have write data option set to order ID, and name set to order ID, here we have define order table column details. For customer name table column data, here we have add new node with data option set to order customer name, and name option set to order customer name. Same way for display order item table column data, here we have add new node with data option set to order item, and name option set to order item. After this for display order value table column data, here we have add new node with data option set to order value table column name, and in name option set to order value. Lastly, we want to display order date table column data, 
Here we have add new node with data option set to order date table column name, and in name option set to order date. Now we have moved to write PHP code, so we have go to index method of date range controller, and here we have write if statement. And under condition we have write, request method, with ajax method, this condition will be true, if it has received ajax request. Suppose this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, under this block we have write, if statement and under condition. We have write not empty function, with dollar request variable, with from date variable, if it has received, date range filter request, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write dollar data variable is equal to, database class, with table method, and under this we have write order table, it will make select query. After this, we have write where between method with two argument, in first argument we have write, order date, and in second argument. We have write array, with data like dollar request variable with from date, and dollar request variable with to date, this method will add a where between statement to the query. Lastly, we have write get method, this method will execute select query, and return result in array format. But suppose, it has not received date range filter request, then it will execute else block of code. And under this block, we have write, dollar data variable is equal to, database class, with table method, and under this we have write order table. After this, we have write get method, it will execute select query, and return result in array format. Now we have write, return statement, with data tables method, this method will make new instance of data table from source. After this, we have write of method, and under this we have write dollar data variable. Lastly, we have write make method, with argument set to true, it will return unsave model instance. Now we have again go to date range dot blade dot php file, and here we have called load data function, so when page has been load, this function has been called, it will load data in data table. For date range filter, here we have write dollar with button id filter, with click event, so when we have click on filter button, then this code will execute. Under this, we have write from data variable is equal to dollar with text box id from date with value method it will store from date text box value under this from date variable below this we have write to data variable is equal to dollar with text box id to date with value method it will store to date text box value under this to date variable. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write from date variable value is not equal to blank and to date variable is not equal to blank. That means both variable must have value if both variable has value then it will execute if block of code.
Under this block, we have write dollar with table ID order table, with data table method, with destroy method, it will destroy data table. After this, we have called load data function, with two argument like from date variable, and to date variable, it will display, latest data in jQuery data table plugin. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write alert statement, with message like both date is required, this message will be pop up. Same, we want to reload data table data after filter of data, for this, here we have write dollar with button id refresh, with click event, so this code will be execute, if user has click on refresh button. Under this, first we have write dollar with text box id from date, with value method with blank value, it will clear from date text box value. After this, we have write dollar with text box id to date, with value method, with blank value, it will clear value of text box with id to date. Now we have write dollar with table id order table, with data table method, with destroy method, it will destroy data table data. After destroying of data, we have called load data function, without any argument, it will load latest order data in jQuery data table plugin. Now we want to set root of index method of date range controller, so we have go to roots folder web.php file. Here we have write root class, with resource method with two argument, in first argument we have write date range, and in second argument we have write date range controller. This code will set root of index method of Ajax CRUD controller, now we want to run Laravel application, for this we have go to command prompt. In command prompt, here we have write php artisan serve command, it will start Laravel server, and return base URL of Laravel application. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have write Laravel base URL slash date range, and here on web page we can see order table data, in jQuery data table plugin, here we can perform operation like data sorting, searching, pagination and many more. Above table, we can see two text box for select from date and to date, and two button like filter and refresh. Now we want to filter data table data with date. So we want to get only June month data. So, here we have select from date 1st June, and in to date text box, we have select 30 June, and click on filter button, after click on filter button on web page in jQuery data table, we can see June month order data. So, this way we can implement date range filter in data table data with server side process in this Laravel 5.8 framework by using date range filter we can display data in data table which has been come between two date. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial Please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, 
or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.